Hey you Alberta, this is The Gateway, welcome to Taste Buds. This week we'll be ranking coffees from campus, including Tim Hortons, The Daily Grind, The Tea and Coffee Company, Sweet Treats, and Starbucks. Our editors are going to be blind taste testing these coffees, and we're going to try to see if we can find out which coffee is the best. I'm Peyton, I am the current opinion editor at The Gateway. I need coffee to live. <laughs> I'm Peter, I'm the art director of The Gateway. Drink coffee, also to live. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where do you get your coffee on campus currently? Standard coffee, like the closest place. Mine is Tim Hortons, sorry about it. Hi, um, my name is Tina, I'm the online editor at The Gateway. I don't drink coffee usually. I'm Adam and I'm the news editor here at The Gateway. I drink a lot of coffee. I'm Kadra, I'm the staff reporter. I flirt with coffee. I don't drink it regularly. It's like my side chick. I'm Pia, and I'm the director of marketing and outreach. I have to drink coffee as like a survival thing. I think half the time it tastes bad, but I'm kind of just like, it be how it be. Coffee number one. Bitter. <laughs> <laughs> Bitter. Yeah. A little bit weak. Just standard coffee. Yeah, it's like a basic. Yeah. Brewed coffee. Cheers. Never cheers to coffee before. <laughs> <laughs> Some good, like, earthly tones to it. Earthly. Bitter. Is it wine tasting? It tastes like nothing. Yeah, I don't know. It's not, like, spectacular. It's like the Kevin Jonas of the Jonas Brothers. <laughs> Is that offensive? <laughs> no. Like, it's just like it's there. Like, it serves its purpose, but it's yeah, not. I'm not like excited. Exactly. There's like barely any smell to this one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't taste good to me. Oh, right. It tastes like that. It's like dirt or something. <laughs> you know the way water tastes when it's been like sitting uh, in a water oh. bottle for a week. <laughs> Drink water out of a water bottle even though it's been sitting for a week? I am <laughs> not taking questions at this time. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of like acid to it, like yeah. the aftertaste. Like... At some point, ask uh, Peyton to describe a coffee as an ex-boyfriend. I don't have any. I don't either. This one smells really good, actually. Like the previous one had no scent whatsoever. This one's kind of flat. It doesn't have as many flavors as the previous one. It's less bitter. Are you less bitter? No, I'm not. <laughs> okay. Hmm. That smells like chocolate. I don't know what kind of chocolate. <laughs> <you're eating. laughs> Probably bad chocolate. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, what celebrity is this coffee? This tastes familiar. Like I've had this coffee. Right. I know her well. You know. <laughs> this coffee is like like Carly Rae Jepsen when Connie Maybe was on the radio. It's like everywhere. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, it's like okay. familiar. Yeah, it's not familiar. Just like. I'm okay. <laughs> okay. Comes back and wants a lot to haunt you. Carly <laughs> Jepsen's a ghost. Coffee number three. It's similar to two, but it's worse. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's like, not that good. Like, <laughs> I would put it ahead of two, but like, not very heavily. <laughs> okay, this is just water. Yeah. Like, there is um, zero flavor. Have you ever looked into a puddle of murky water? I yeah. feel like this is what it would taste like. Pretty much, <laughs> yeah. It, there's sorry. <laughs> there's nothing good happening in this coffee. He's like, look at these cups. They all have I'm a bitter way. That Tina's maybe biting her cups. <laughs> <laughs> and she's bit mine. <laughs> That's a little styrofoam in the digestive system. Oh my lord. I can't smell anything. Mm. You smell that? You no. Smell <laughs> Dog park? <laughs> Party at Garneau when everyone's smoking on the porch. This is coffee coming out the other <laughs> This is not very good. I keep trying to think about who to compare this coffee to, but it's so forgettable that it dissipates out of my mind before I can even form an opinion. Honestly, it's all blending together now. All the coffee's getting to me. Better smell. Acidic. Yeah. What's with these coffees, you guys? <laughs> Describe the flavor. The next boyfriend. Go back for a night, but it wouldn't be a regular occurrence. <laughs> Four is a bad number in Chinese, so I don't know. What does it mean? It means like death. It sounds like death. Do we even drink it? Everyone's gonna die at one point, so. Uh. <laughs> Cheers to that. <laughs> you can tell this one was roasted and not not like a drip, at least to me. You can actually taste the coffee rejuvenating you as you drink okay. it. <laughs> I don't know, there's a 
sour aftertaste. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of fun, hey? <laughs> <laughs> it's not a flat experience. It gets mildly addicting, so I'll put it here. Um. <laughs> Like acidic, but basic at the same yeah. time. It's like no. I just took a shot of tequila and it's that feeling of regret. Oh, uh, good. I don't know if it's more offensive than anything we've had before, though. I mean, it's like, do you want water or do you want oh, that, acid? That, I don't that know. That was more offensive. <laughs> it's still acidic. To me, like, way less acidic than the other mm -hmm. three ones that were acidic. Oh my. <laughs> I can't tell if it's from the coffee itself or if it's from the container that the coffee was held in. In Chinese medicine, sometimes they make you drink these herbal drinks. It tastes like that. It's almost as if like, along with the coffee beans, there was like candy involved. Oh, ew. What? It doesn't taste bitter at all. What? No. Yeah, it does. No. Are your taste buds okay? Coffee tastes like a smoker's cough. <laughs> Oh, it's really acidic. Yeah. yeah. Mm -mm. Motor oil. This coffee is like Drake. Like, okay. And then you keep consuming it, even though you're kind of just like, I don't know what's changing. Okay. There you go. One. It's weak. Yeah. But I think if it was stronger, it would be the best one. Best one or three. This one is the best. Like upon revisiting, one is the best. Okay, round two. I think I have like chapstick now. <laughs> I don't know. Are you wearing chapstick? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> uh, I would eat chapstick as an adult. Yeah. <laughs> what if I like Tim Hortons? Yeah, I'm just gonna like oh, one make Tim Hortons. I have really bad news. Oh. Number one is Tim Hortons. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Number two is Starbucks. Yeah. I'm oh shocked and appalled. It's basically bean water. Don't know myself. And I need to reconsider my life choices. I'm I don't stressed. trust myself. Uh, you rank number one is Starbucks. <gasps> really? What's it like knowing that you're basic? Not a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> and number five, who was she ranked last? Oh my god, it's this daily grind. It's the daily grind. Oh my god. Really? <laughs> oh no. I'm I'm surprised actually. I thought that Starbucks would be a little higher for me. I'm not surprised that I'm a basic bitch. Oh, yeah, I go. guess. So um the square cup that Kaja ranked as the worst. Sweets and treats. Okay. Mm -hmm. Worst sweets and treats. Kaja ranked it as third, Pia ranked it last. That is daily grind. This is a daily grind? What? No, that's, I, I literally said earlier that I drink that almost every single day. Are you serious? Is, so it, is this an existential crisis? What? <laughs> what do you mean? Sorry, daily grind. Star as number two, and that is Tim Hortons. What? <laughs> oh no. Which means number one, the triangle. It's Starbucks. No, I no. literally roasted Tina about this earlier. <laughs> Basic. Oh man, you know that quote from Shrek? I think it's from Shrek. Either you die the hero or, or you, you live long, long enough to see yourself become, become the villain. villain. Yeah. I'm okay with that. I'm not gonna lie. I love pumpkin spice lattes. That's my confession. I'm sorry. Who am I? I don't think I actually know much about coffee. Because <laughs> <laughs> at the end it all kind of blended together. <laughs> Jungle juice. Jungle juice! They're all like gonna... Alright, that's fine. I mean, like, you can control how much you buy. I can't do that for you. <laughs> Yo, I'm not a chem major, so... <laughs> <laughs> Pretty bitter. But, like, not in a really offensive way. I think the Tim Hortons coffee really watered it down. Mm -hmm. So, it's pretty good. <laughs> and it's really cold now. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, cheers. Cheers. It doesn't taste that bad. No. Not again. No. <laughs> So it's just gonna be, gonna be the chapstick and yeah. acid. It's like my Saturday night. <laughs> chapstick <laughs> and acid. <laughs> Nothing. Mm, tastes like U of A. Yeah, that's what I learned from Uncle Iroh and the Avatar The Last Airbender. It's all about balance, right? It is about balance. It's pretty good. Sorry, not everyone can be as bougie as you, Adam. <laughs> <laughs>